The story of Barnabas can be found in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 36 through 37, chapter 9, verse 27, chapter 11, verse 24, and chapter 15, verse 39. He's also mentioned in 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 6, Galatians, chapter 2, verse 1, verse 9, and verse 13, and Colossians, chapter 4, verse 10. Let us begin. There was a man named Joseph who was born on the island of Cyphus. He was a Levite and a church leader. And although he wasn't one of the 12 apostles, he was called an apostle. Joseph was such an encourager that he earned the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement from the apostles. And as a Levite, Barnabas would have been raised a Jew, most likely wealthy. He sold a field that he owned, and he brought it the money to put it at the apostles' feet. He was drawn to people he could encourage. He was a great help to all those around him. Barnabas was someone who had respect, wealth, and he gave it all up for Jesus. He was truly a man of encouragement. He gave his life to the church and sacrificed a lot for the faith. Barnabas presents a wonderful example of how to help new Christians. He demonstrated strong faith. He ministered with joy and kindness and encouragement. And he believed in the power of the Holy Spirit to transform a person's life regardless of their path. And it was Barnabas who encouraged the apostles to believe that Paul, their former enemy, was now a believer of Jesus. It was Barnabas who encouraged John Mark to go with him and Paul on the first missionary trip. 
The Bible tells us in Acts 24 that Barnabas was a good man. He was full of the Spirit and strong in faith. And many people was brought to the Lord. We learn from Barnabas' life that words are powerful. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, Death and life is in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. Words can either build you up or they can tear you down. Everyone needs encouragement at one time in their life. An encourager has the ability to give another person support. To give another person confidence and hope. And the Bible says in Hebrew 10, 24 and 25, it says, and let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Thank you.